Hello, everybody. Today is going to be a review of uh, an amazing film I, I saw. I'm pretty sure all of you have seen before. Um, see, see, I saw scenes. I saw pretty much everything about what the movie was, but I never knew what really what the movie was about. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, amazing film. I've haven't seen a film like that in a long damn time. Um, if I were to choose two of my favorite uh, films from the 90s, thriller uh, slash uh, suspenseful type films and all that, I probably would choose Seven and this one. This one just pretty much, it's it graduated. Uh, just an amazing performance by um, the two actors and all that. Anthony, Anthony Hopkins and uh, <clears throat> and um, Jodie Foster. Never knew that Jodie Foster could speak um, Southern and all that. She she didn't she had an amazing performance in that fucking film. Certainly at the end of the film, uh, man, that that film just kept me. For an, I, I haven't seen a film like that that kept my attention for an hour and 50 minutes. My God. I can could, I could seriously go watch the movie again and just enjoy it as much as I, I did the first time. Um, but yeah, pretty much what the premise of the film is, it's about uh, Clarice and all that. Uh, she's... Um, she's... Uh, She's trying to go in the FBI and all that. She's training and everything. She's a trainee. So one one of uh, one day her boss uh, pretty much asks her to go to a mental institution and all that to go see uh, a patient, uh, a very brutal, vicious, psychotic, uh, cannibalistic um, man. Anubal Lecter and all, Dr. Anubal Lecter, uh, that did horrible things and all that. So, pretty much, uh, she talks to him and just pretty much uh, brings out a case uh, of a man and all that. Um, what was his name again? Uh, I did oh, fuck. Buffalo Bill. Yeah, Buffalo Bill. Um... I don't really remember what the name of the, the his real name was and the character and all that, but uh, Buffalo Bill and all that. So yeah, it's pretty much her trying to uh, to get information about the crime and everything, and what uh, Doctor Lecter knows about him and what um, what pretty much what she should do and everything. Um, yeah. Just really, like I said, an amazing performance by um, Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. What really made me love, uh, just like the original um, Hellraiser films, I, I'm just going to say, like, borrow an example of all that, is you didn't see a lot of the villain. You didn't see a lot of Edible Lecter. You didn't see a lot of, um, until... Probably close to the very end of the film. Uh, Buffalo Bill and all that. And... Yeah. Uh, th 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 this, to me... Um, is... They, they lost the art of making movies now. Because I... I to be honest, I, I could never watch a movie like this in 2020... Uh, like, let's say a movie was made in 2020, in 2019, 2020, or 2021, because the, the, a lot of time, the suspenseful, uh, or the suspense, I should say, of a lot of the new movies they make is show as much as you can the villain, um, pretty much just show what he does and whatsoever and everything, but they never showed what Animal Lecter did. Uh, they just talked a little about a lot of the victims that he killed and everything. Um, but yeah, I just really, it's, it's a brilliant film. Uh, it's amazing. Um, uh, the atmosphere 
a lot of times you can cut with a knife and everything. Um, certainly when he escaped and all that, Adibal Lecter, just really, I really love that scene. I really, truly love that scene with him in the cage and killing two officers and all that. Um, and yeah, what he, I won't say what he did, but what he did and all that was, was brilliant. Uh, man, <laughs> it just really shows you that you can create an, an amazing character like that. Um, if I had to choose probably another movie, probably Taxi Driver from the 70s, uh, The Godfather, um, One Flew Over to Cuckoo's Nest, amazing flick. Uh, it's been years since I've seen that film. Um, man, there, there's so many in the past 50, 60, 70 years. Uh, so many amazing performances and uh, movies and everything that just really, that drags you, that dra uh, grabs you by the throat and all that and doesn't fucking let you go until the movie is fucking ending and it is finished and all that. Uh, the music, uh, the atmosphere of the film, um, everything, everything, every, every, everything was amazing in, in this film. And, um, uh, I have to say, I don't praise a film a lot. And I understand why a lot of people praise and a lot of people do parodies about this film and why a lot of people do talk about this film. And yeah, if any of you people out there have never seen uh, Silence of the Lambs, I, I, I probably been actually graduated in my top 10 favorite films of all time. Uh, the first time in 2021 that I ever seen that film. I've seen several uh, scenes and everything. The only scenes I ever saw were Clarice and Edible Lecter. I never saw uh, the scenes with uh, Buffalo Bill or anything, that, <clears throat> or anything like that. I was pretty. I pretty much I thought the film was the entire premise was about Edible Lecter and all that. But yeah, it was just it was basically just. Um, an inmate and all that in an asylum, uh, helping Clarice. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, this is pretty much what I have to say about this film. Um, yeah. Um, if you have any other suggestions from amazing films like that, um, Jacob's Ladder, another one that, to this day, I again, my top 20 favorite films. Uh, top 20, 30, 40, 50 films. Um... I probably if I no fifty films, um, at least in my top twenty, top twenty. It's just really hard. I've seen so many amazing films in my in my day, um, and right now, and like I said in the beginning and all that, um, the last ten years, not a lot of films have impressed me. There's probably there were probably awesome amazing films, but will you remember them? Because in the last 20 years, I'm pretty sure there's not a whole lot of films you can remember. There's probably animated films. Probably some films that probably fit in the palm of your hand and all that. And that's it. Because let's say um, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. Certainly the 80s. A lot of horror films. A lot of comedies. A lot of action comedy films. A lot of uh, uh, suspenseful films. A lot of thrillers and all that. Um... That you, you pretty much, you, you could talk about and you just really, I love this film so much that I, I watch it every, at least twice a year or probably five times a year or um, once in a while I watch it. It's me is, I, I, to like a film is you have to at least watch it a couple times a year. So yeah, uh, again, that's pretty much what I have to say. Good day.